welcome back everybody, Pro Spartan Gamer. I'm going to attempt the final test again. We've had a couple failed attempts at this one. But we're going to try and do it and get the main target. There he is, 70, 70s Danish porn star Ewan McGregor lookalike, Jasper Knight, in the cockpit of his plane and get him to blow himself up skywards. Right, so here we go then. Going to go in the same way as we've gone in both other times. There, there is another way you can go in, which we will probably show you in a different video. You need to listen to these two workmen discussing stuff and take this opportunity here. Don't think it matters if you press the the pad or not, whether you. You can still do it if you don't say you're going to go that way. It doesn't really make any difference from what I can see of it. But we will just press the track. It says it there. But like I say, it doesn't really matter if you press that or not. So let them two wander off on their coffee break or whatever they're going to do. I'm going to vault over here. You are trespassing, but... As far as I know, you don't really get spotted. There's a bundle of coins there. Get behind the little red car. I don't know what it is, Volkswagen Beat or something. And then using L2, just position ourselves a bit better. Flip a coin over there. Get the garrote or the fibre wire and this dozy security here. guard walks uh, over there. He does squirrel like a stuffed pig if you get it wrong so you've got to be a little bit careful. Like that, we didn't quite get it perfectly there. He was turning round which is now we've got a bit of a glitch going on there. We've got about 55 different disguises. We will snap his neck this time and kill him. And we'll drag him in this very convenient little damper box just there for him to have a little snooze in. Special coffin made just for him. Now there is a bloke here, just go careful on these. And obviously you've got one over there as well. We just want to get ourselves back into here and then you can walk through as this man. You haven't got to worry about killing these two. Just come up from the stealth position and you should be able to walk straight through past these because they don't know whether you're Hitman or whether you're Uncle Tom Cobley and all, all the old geezer you've just murdered and dumped in it wooden crate. Just keep on walking. These, these guys in here... It's only a matter of time. Do know you though, so be careful. You want to go in the room here. That was the plan. Then night is it this one? Which is a bit of a. In this one is a bit of a workplace, and this guy here, you need to just kill him. Unfortunate for him, I know, but he's the main part of the mystery. Get on his high vis jacket and quickly drag him and put him in the wooden crate here. So far, so good. Arise. You're then looking for the wrench, which is just here. Pick that up and then go back out towards the plane. The only ones you need worry about here are the other two guys in the high vis. Read this. Examine that. Jasper Knight and it just starts that little cutscene. But first, he needs to test just the keep an eye out for the position of the other two workers that are right on this side seat. of the plane. Because they don't know you. They're both out of the way bent down. So it gives you the chance to muck around with this. Just turn up. Well done, initially. That guy is watching. Is a bit suspicious. Don't blow my cover, you happen. knobber. Right. If you get in on a bit of shit street, you can always blend in here for a little bit by pressing triangle. But we are now going to go up to 
find the main target. Yeah, I snuck a peek. Just gotta remember which one you gotta go for him. Main staircase. You know that guy who flew in from Moscow? Who? He's the real McCoy. That KGB officer? We've got lost. We've got lost. Through here somewhere, aren't paid to fix planes, not goof around. Back out of the corner here. And out through here on the left, I think. Got on a bit of a... There it is. You're then looking for Jasper Knight just to tell him to come down because it's time to check out the new ejector seat safety precautions on his... Oh, Hi there, Mr. Soldier. Hi, Mr. Mechanic. Into here and hopefully Jasper Knight is in here with the Colonel. There's Jasper Knight. Speak to him. Hey, you're allowed to apologize, you know. Jasper Knight, we gotta go over the safety yeah. protocol. Follow me, please. Oh, must we really? He should follow you, but he does take an ace to come. There he is. He's behind me. We have the bait on the end of the rod. Now deliver it. And it is quite a special way of killing him. There he is. He's coming down the stairs. Lead the way out to the hangar. Obviously, Hitman walks as fast as anyone you've ever seen. Because he knows how to get away from a crime. Jasper Knight obviously doesn't. Go and pick up the clipboard. Get ready. And why aren't we picking up the clipboard? Ah, got to wait until he gets there. Okay, pick up the clipboard, Mr. and then the cockpit, please. You will be telling him now to get up in the cockpit, and you can uh -huh. start a few questions now. Right. Get out there, you old bastard! One, one step at a time. Remember these last few moments of your life. Put on the safety straps. Strap you certainly need them. Strap up, mate. Okay. Strap in. He's All strapped in. in. Locate your injection Locate handle. Locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, Come on, you old fart. Yes, found it. Pull the handle, mate. Step Just three. pull it and see what happens. Pull the ejector seat handle. We'll put the clip pad down, we don't need right. that anymore. <laughs> Here it goes. Pull. Three. Rocket man! <laughs> Every now and then. <laughs> First chess player in space. I like this bit here. It says, oh god, did that just happen? And then this other guy says, that shit, that definitely wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> you killed the guy. And then the beauty of this is, no one knows ever the, any of the difference. They still think you're a mechanic. Obviously not a very good one at that. And you should just be able to stroll out like you just finished your shift without anybody even paying any attention to you. No need to hurry the step. The bloats. You've killed a couple men. I suppose you didn't need to kill either of them. You could have just subdued them and left them in the in the coffin until they woke up we're gonna be bold we're gonna push our big balls right out in their scrotum sack and walk straight past the security guard good night mate have a good day and out to press the big red button and end of mission we will let the cutscene play congratulations agent and we'll be silent you are cleared for field duty I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, 
Stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. So there it is. The intro pack comes out on March the 11th. And that is probably, I think, one of the easiest ways of completing that final level. There's obviously several other ways of doing it. And there's 23 challenges, I think, on that final test altogether. So plenty of replay value. I'm going to be doing a fair few more of them. Hopefully some will fail. Some won't come work out quite as good as that. That was pretty smooth, um, to be honest. Anyway, thanks for joining. As always, stay safe, dudes. Spot and out. Just